Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about Mitre Attack Framework. Well, before we go ahead and learn about this Splunk uh, Security Essential app, there are, there, if you recall, there were a couple of more options. And before we go ahead and you know understand about some uh, advisor uh, analytics and some more features, it is very, very important for us to learn about Mitre Attack Framework. Trust me, this is something which is being used by all the multinational organization and everybody is trying to adopt it very fast, okay? So let's let's learn about it. So uh, the the MITRE is basically a an, uh, uh, an, uh, non-profit uh, organization that manages the FFRDC and they are the one who developed this framework that stands for Adversarial uh, Tactics, Technique and Common Language. Tactics, it's all about why to why to every uh, attacks that happen, right? And techniques, it's all about how it has been uh, accomplished by the attacker, right? And it, as I said, this framework basically consists of tactics, the why, uh, and you know the purpose of the attack, or I would say what exactly is happening. So I'll show you that. Don't worry. And techniques, it's all about how it has been happening. And procedure consists of different sub stages under it. Okay, and this is being used by APDs. Uh, you know, APDs are the advanced persistent threats. These consist considered to be an advanced threat because their purpose is more than just uh, you know crime or you know f uh, financial fraud or uh, you know beyond that basically. So it usually start with the initial access, then they perform some installation and you know, they try to keep the session persistence persistent as well so that even if the system restart, the connection still be intact. They try to def, uh, def, uh, you know, perform some evasion on the defense, maybe bypassing the firewall or maybe bypassing the antivirus as well, right? So let's understand further. Uh, it is, it is, uh, you know, it can be compared with the cyber kill chain, which is being, uh, you know, delivered by the Lockheed Martin. And, uh, you know, when you look at the uh, MITRE attack framework, there's a lot of differences because if you see the cyber kill chain, was, uh, you know, was uh, introduced to the world long, long back. So it is, uh, it is not really that advanced and uh, you know, this. Uh, if you look at the cyber kill chain, it is common for any kind of attack. You talk about DDoS, you talk about ransomware attack, any malware attack, or any data breaches. But you, if you look at the MITRE attack framework, this is very, you know, very advanced and very specific to certain industry or you know, industrial network or banking net network which has the complex environment. That's where the data breaches is very you know data breach is something which is the priority threat right that those are something really the major concern so if you look at it uh, in the cyber kill chain we have very limited phases from the attacker point of view it's reconnaissance where you know uh, attacker performs some scanning active or passive weaponization where it builds their you know payload exploit and everything and then they try to you know, uh, send those payload, send those payload through some delivery mechanism, maybe phishing email, spare phishing, and all those stuff. And then finally, the exploitation happens, and we, we of course, we have the you know uh, detailed session on each of those phases, and installation, command and control. But when you look at the mit MITRE attack framework, it is way, way more advanced. Uh, let me show you on the website as well. So if you come on the the website attack.mitre.org you can see the details about it this is how the you know matrix really looks like uh, we'll be going in much more detail in the next video but for now just get the idea this is how the matrix really looks like this is the uh, this is the tactics about why uh, you know the uh, reconnaissance the execution the initial access and these are all the techniques which is being used to accomplish this tactic okay so whatever you see over here these are all techniques which is being used and whatever you see on the top these are all the tactics okay so you you can even get more idea about how this attack uh, framework has been used you can get the you know information about different white papers that has been published 
and also how you can work with it by some automation by by making use of sticks uh, in the spreadsheet as well people don't really use much with the spreadsheet you can rather go for some python script as well okay yeah here it is you can go for this and uh, if you talk about the version this has been you know updated uh, you know uh, many times in the past so you can see uh, you know introduce I mean, uh, starting from 2018 it has been in, uh, modified more than five uh, so seven or eight times so currently the version is version uh, 10 and this this is the latest version in fact updated in the October of 21 all right so this is how the uh, metro miter uh, attack framework really looks like. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.